It has been nearly six months since the last update to Red Dead Online. Sure, we've gotten a few patches here or there in order to try and fix the problems that are in the game, which still remain. But yeah, we kind of sort of need new content, Rockstar. Now, most of us understand why there's been a delay because of the bug. It has affected the entire world, lockdown, social distancing, quarantining. And of course, Rockstar was in their right to put their employees first. And I respect that from Rockstar. That's great. But a lot of other studios that make games have still been putting out content. And while we patiently wait for the next update, if there is one, hopefully Rockstar is not going to sunset Red Dead Online. It'd be unfortunate if they did because I still believe this game has a lot of potential. But let's just go with a worst case scenario. We're going to play hypothetical and this is where my idea comes from. Now it's entirely possible that best case scenario, we get updates and people come back to the game. Fixes are made, and it becomes a very enjoyable experience. And they could still use a role similar to this uh, for other purposes. But one thing I do enjoy doing in this game still, despite not really having much to do, is explore outside the main map. Now, when it comes to the uh, GTA maps, you really can't do that because they're all island-based. Going all the way back to, you know, Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 4, and of course, Grand Theft Auto 5, aka Grand Theft Auto Online's map of Southern San Andreas, is all island-based, surrounded by ocean. With Red Dead Redemption 2, Red Dead Online map, it isn't necessarily the case. A lot of the landmass that you see is outside of the main map. And there is a few tricks remaining in Red Dead Online which allow the player to get over the barrier to the other side. A while back for my map expansions ideas video, I did create this map of sorts showing off the various locations you could explore like the snow region north of Amberino, what we call Canada, the void to the west of uh, West Elizabeth and New Austin, Mexico, as well as above Mexico, to the Plateau, which is south of Flatiron Lake, and then of course around Lanahatchee is what I like to call the Outer Banks, and then tucked away in the uh, southeastern uh, corner of the map is where they put Guarma. Actually, they have Guarma technically underneath the main map. It is quite interesting how they did it. So, I had this idea the other night <laughs> about, well, what if Rockstar decided that they were going to take whatever assets they had built for an update and just throw it into one final last ditch hurrah before sunsetting Red Dead Online? Worst case scenario, but they didn't want the content that they made to go to waste if there was any c content that they were working on, which I assume that there is. What role could they wrap it around that would be entertaining to some of us and make exploration of the uh, outer layers of the map more enticing for everybody else. I came up with the idea for an explorer's update, which basically would be a continuation of the collector's role. So you would actually have the ability through the explorer role in Madame Nazar to go outside the main portion of the map and venture into quote-unquote Canada, the Void, Mexico, the Plateau, Outer Banks area, as well as Guarma, if you feel so inclined. But it would be uh, expensive. It would be a little pricey in order to be able to become an explorer through Madame Nazar. It would cost you 100 gold bars, and Madame Nazar would offer you this special talisman, which would give you the ability to explore the outer regions, what she would call the lands beyond. But there would be many dangers that would await you. For example, uh, the dangers of going too far and being pulled back into the main portion of the map. That would still exist along with all the weirdness of uh, the low res graphics and everything else. But it would just be the, the lands beyond that you'd be able to explore and Madame Nazar would make a big to-do about it, but there would be rewards for you to earn, to gain, 
scattered throughout these outer lands such as explore collectibles for example ancient aztec coins or teeth from megalodons and saber-toothed tigers mammoth tusks maybe a variety of different horseshoes like silver horseshoes gold horseshoes bronze horseshoes all these explore collectibles scattered throughout the uh, lands beyond for you to collect and bring back to Madame Nazar. There would also be mythical animals that you could find. Some of them would be friendly, some of them extremely hostile. By the way, if you're killed while venturing in the lands beyond, you get respawned back into the main portion of the map, one of the five states. So it makes exploring around the uh, outer regions even more treacherous just like it currently is so they wouldn't change anything about that it would just make it feel like oh i better be careful i better not go too fast because if i die out here in mexico or i die up in canada then i'm going to go back inside the map and then i'll have to traverse back outside of it once again so there'd be a variety of different mythical animals roaming around such as uh, the jackalope which by the way was in red dead redemption the jackalope you'd also see the sasquatches uh, chupacabra flying around maybe uh, thunderbirds griffins uh, anacondas because there actually is an anaconda easter egg in lemoyne in red dead redemption 2. you could also have uh, lions roaming about and some other creatures like uh, the mothman uh, goblins, werewolves, dire wolves, which would be larger wolves than the regular wolves, as well as, yes, saber-toothed tigers, maybe a dragon. I don't know. I mean, maybe that's a little far-fetched. But you could also uh, implement the uh, UFOs roaming around, and you'd have to avoid the UFOs because if you got caught by a UFO, it would practically just drag you back to the main portion of the map. So at night, when you see the UFO going by, you would avoid its, I guess, tractor beam, but if it caught you in the tractor beam, it would pull you up to the mothership and then it would fade to black and then you would respawn in San Denis or somewhere else in the main portion of the map. The mythical and extinct creatures that uh, thrive in the lands beyond would be another reason for you to uh, want to be an explorer along with picking up the explorer collectibles in order to uh, take them back to Mab Nazar and profit from. There would also be uh, perks for the explorer role. I came up with three of them. Uh, one would be called Water Crosser and I'm not married to the name. It's just something I came up with, a placeholder where that would allow you and your horse the ability to safely travel across bodies of water to the lands beyond from uh, Flatiron Lake, Lanahatchee, as well as the San Luis River. Now, at the moment, you really can't get across uh, to the other side because you end up drowning halfway across those waters. So that's not how you get to Mexico or to other parts of the map that we're not supposed to go. But with a water crosser, it would allow you and your horse the ability to get across much easier. The next ability you would get as an explorer is Deeper Pockets, which would allow you to carry even more collectibles than you currently can. The final ability you would get is Map Finder, which would increase your chance of getting treasure maps off enemy NPCs. Along with the perks, you would get a variety of other unique things, such as uh, weapons, a uh, cavalry saber, perhaps like a, a musket, along with a bayonet or blunderbuss, some Explorer-themed clothing, uh, Explorer camp theme, along with uh, 1898-era national flags that you could uh, put up at your camp. In the stables, you would have a unique Explorer saddle, along with Explorer saddlebags. And the mount for the Explorer would be the Unicorn. Yes, the Unicorn. It actually was a mount in Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. So they would make the unicorn the mount that you could get for the explorer. And just like with the other roll horses, you would have six variations of the unicorn. Even though I wish they would rework that to where all the stats and cores were the same. And you just had six different coats to choose from. Six I came up with variations of the unicorn. White unicorn, black unicorn, a zebra striped looking unicorn similar to the zonkey from uh, Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer, Pink Unicorn, Silver Unicorn, Gold Unicorn, and just like the Unicorn in Undead Nightmare, it would have uh, butterflies and rainbows and would be the best damn horse in Red Dead Online. It would definitely be a top tier horse. 
Now, once you reach rank 20 as the explorer, after going across the map and uh, hunting all these mythical animals and you know taking all these explorer collectibles back to Mab Nazar and ranking that up, you will unlock the ability to purchase a mansion in San Denis. So there'd be like, I don't know, three or four different mansions available for you to pick from, similar to the Moonshine Shacks. But since the mansions are all in San Denis, I think there might be a few outside of Blackwater that maybe they could use as well. I don't know if there's any outside of Valentine or Strawberry, but wherever there happens to be a big enough house, and I know there's one right outside of Tumbleweed they could use, but a big house, a mansion that you would purchase and that would only become available for you to buy once you reached Roll Rank 20 as an Explorer. It would have a few customizable interior options. You would have a trophy room to display your collections, whatever collections you happen to have, whether it's a tarot card collection, a coin collection, or uh, different animals you have hunted, whether it's a uh, deer, alligator, buffalo, or some of the mythical animals that we mentioned throughout your house. And it would have uh, several uh, other uh, amenities, like a wardrobe, a weapons locker, a stove for cooking and crafting, a fast travel map so you could fast travel from your mansion to any other location, including your camp and moonshine shack. You would have a bathtub so you could take a bath. You'd have a personal bar for you and your friends. Uh, there would be a mini game table with a variety of games for you to purchase to play with friends, like Texas Hold'em Poker, Blackjack, Dominoes, Liars, Dice, as well as Five Finger Filet. So that's some of the ideas I had revolved around an Explorer's role for an Explorer's update. I wouldn't mind this being repurposed as a future role. Admittedly, this was one of my crazier ideas because I know for a fact Rockstar doesn't exactly like it when we're exploring outside the map, but it's there. We have this huge landmass that's being unused right now. And worst case scenario, if Rockstar's planning on sunsetting Red Dead Online, which I sincerely hope that's not the case, at the very least, if they have no plans for a Mexico expansion, fully rebuilding Mexico, or giving us Guarma as a map for you know PvP action, at the very least, don't allow the uh, Outer Lands to go to waste, or whatever we wish to call it, the Lands Beyond. We could use them for an Explorer role and scatter some collectibles as well as perhaps even some mythical animals for us to go hunt and be hunted by, including UFOs. <laughs> like I said, it's one of my crazier ideas. <laughs> but anyways, here's hoping that Rockstar is going to have new content for us coming soon, even though they have yet to mention anything at all, which is very concerning, but unfortunately that's nothing new when it comes to Rockstar. Let me know in your honest opinion do you like this idea for a role? Do you dislike it? Is there ways you could improve upon it? Or what other roles would you like to see eventually added? And would you like something else entirely, like the ability to purchase properties, a Mexico expansion, heists? Your thoughts, views, and opinions when it comes to future content for Red Dead Online, as always, welcome below in the comment section.